Bro, bro, bro. Three, two, one. What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy and welcome back to another video. Today I got Bob Gizzles on the camera. Here. Now today we're going to do things a little bit differently for the IG and Twitter gang shoutouts. We're going to start the video off with it, so big shout out to the IG gang and a big shout out to the Twitter gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, be sure to go follow me over there and comment IG gang on my last IG post and retweet my last tweet. Now today guys, we're going to be doing part two of a video you guys really enjoyed last time and we're going bigger, better, and just... In general, it's gonna be a hell of a lot more crazy today, but I don't wanna tell you guys exactly what we're doing. I wanna show you guys what we're gonna be using because today we needed a lot of supplies and I want you guys to comment down below what you think we're doing as I show you all the different supplies. So come with me. I believe I can... We got liquid nitrogen. We've got a whole bunch of butane bottles. Even more Coke. And one giant Coca-Cola bottle. All right, now that you've seen all the supplies, you guys have five seconds to comment down below, starting right now, what you think this video is gonna be. Did you do it? All right, just in case you still don't know, guys, today we are gonna be doing DIY. DIY. Coke bottle rockets. Also guys, there's gonna be an Amazon gift code randomly placed in this video, so be sure to watch from the very beginning until the very end, otherwise you risk missing out on free money. So don't ever play yourself. But without any further ado guys, let's get right into the science experiment. I think, I think something's wrong right now, so I'll be right back. That feels a little bit better. It's your scientist is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. To start things off, we are gonna do a liquid nitrogen regular size Coke rocket. Then we are gonna do a butane and Coke regular size rocket. So you guys see exactly how this is supposed to work. And then we're gonna grab this big boy right here. We're gonna do a liquid nitrogen rocket and a butane rocket and see which one works the best or if it even works at all. Cause I don't know how this is all gonna play in. Now, as you guys probably noticed, this is a pretty nice house. So I think it's time we head outside. All right guys, so the first part of this experiment, all you're gonna need to do is pop the top off your Coke bottle. We already got some fizz. Empty a little bit out, or drink some. Like drink some, man. Oh, nice. That wasn't smooth at all. Let's just pour it out. All right, come close. Next, you gotta take your liquid nitrogen, pour just a little bit into this cup here. Oh, like that's pretty cold, man. Oh, that's super cold, man. Oh. Pour that into your Coke bottle. Oh, wow. And guys, be safe. Okay, all right, all right. Step away. All you gotta do, pick it up and turn it upside down. Oh, oh, that was levitating. It okay, levitated, okay. it's supposed to shoot up. That was good though. I think I we need more know. liquid nitrogen. More liquid nitrogen. We'll be right back. All right guys, for attempt number two, we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna try with Diet Coke and see how that works. We gotta conserve our liquid nitrogen because we don't have too much. Pour some of that in. Oh, oh, bro, it all missed. <laughs> it all missed. We wasted a lot of liquid nitrogen right there, but let's try this again. Attempt like number two. Here we go guys, smash the like button. <laughs> It's still filled with like gas yeah, or something. Even that one is still filled with gas. What the heck? I know, man. All right, that's a W. Time to try the second experiment. This time, we are gonna use butane instead of liquid nitrogen. All right, guys, like I mentioned, for part two of this experiment, we're gonna be using butane. So first thing we gotta do is take this Powerade bottle, fill it up with liquid butane. Currently, we got like a gas form right here. And then we are going to put it in the top of a Coke bottle, just like we did with the liquid nitrogen. Turn it upside down and we should have pretty much the same results. So let's do that. Guys, do not do this at home. I am a professional scientist from Oregon, New Hampshire, New York. So, like I said, do not try this at home. I've got Itsy Scientist put on my lab coat for a reason. It's because I'm a pro. All right guys, so as you can see, we've got a little bit of liquid butane at the bottom here. We're gonna keep going. And once we've got enough, we'll let you know. So we'll be right back, guys. Two hours later. All right guys, so we've got a little more liquid butane in here. Fun fact, as you can see, this thing is freezing cold right now. So this is where I was holding it with my legs, but everywhere else, this bottle is like ice right now. And that is because most aerosol containers, whatever it is they shoot out is like super, super cold. I'm not entirely sure the reason why, but. So now that we have our liquid butane, let's pop open our Coke bottles. Bottle number one, like Man, we don't need this much Coke, man. <laughs> oh. oh. I 
Like, I think you played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the second model. A few moments later. Now, guys, come a little closer. Oh, jeez, man. Come on. All right, so now we're gonna add the butane to the top. They should stay separated until we turn the coke upside down. Otherwise, it'll just explode on us, so um, no big deal. Oh. Bro, do you see that? Yeah, yeah, it's because there's air coming out of the top. Yeah, yeah, it's pushing it everywhere. Like, this is pretty crazy, man. <laughs> we do this for you, man. <laughs> all right, there's all of our butane. Like, holy smokes. Holy smokes, right. man. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Neighbors are gonna be pissed, man. <laughs> Bro, it's all on my back. Ew. Jeez. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, another experiment, another success. All right, guys, we're gonna try it with the bottle that I emptied too much Coke out of, just to see what happens. Like, do you need a certain amount of Coke for this to work? We've got some more butane here. I'm gonna pour that in. Oh, you gotta be really careful because the butane makes like a gas that comes out and pushes the water, well, not the water, but the liquid butane out of the way. So it just splashes all over my hands, man. Can you see the gas right there? Mm hmm. It's like there's gas being poured out. I don't know if you can see it on the lens, but I can definitely see it. Take a look at the reaction that's going on right there. Oh, All geez. of that bubbling. There's like a thin layer of butane that you can see is separate, separated from the coke. Look, that's pretty crazy, man. All right, here we go. Attempt number two, guys. Time to get out the big guns. All right, guys. So as you saw at the beginning of the video, we've got this giant Coke bottle. This is typically used as like a, a coin collector or a piggy bank type thing, but that's not what it's gonna be used for today. We've gotta fill this bad boy up with enough Coke and enough liquid nitrogen and or butane to send it to space. This is this is the NASA Coke rocket, ladies and gentlemen. This thing, I have high expectations, literally. Like I'm expecting it to go very, very high. But first things first, guys, we gotta fill this thing up with Coca-Cola. So me and Bonga are gonna get comfortable and we'll see you guys soon. A few moments later. All right, guys, I think that's good enough. It's about to the same level proportionately to what we had with our Coke before. So let's take this. Oh my God, this is, is heavy? so heavy, bro. <gasps> okay, How are you gonna flip it? Bro, we can't do this out here. We yeah. have to go to the park. All right, this all right. is too close. We already almost hit the neighbor like three times. Sorry, neighbor, if you're watching this. Let's go to the park. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are now at the park. I'm really tired because I had to carry this heavy coke bottle all the way over here. We've got our liquid nitrogen. We're going all out. We've got about half the tank left and we are going to empty the entire thing. This is all or nothing, ladies and gentlemen. So please, smash the thumbs up button. Help your boys out. Here we go. Come watch this up close and personal. Yo, man. Oh, man. This is crazy. Bro, bro, bro. Like, holy smokes, man. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, oh, it's fumbleitis over here. Is it going everywhere? Oh, geez. Yeah, it's pouring out, man. There's too much gas. Bro, it's freezing the bottle. All right, all right, all right. We gotta try it. We gotta try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, here goes nothing. Crash the stuff up, button. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. That concludes the experiment, man. <laughs> like DIY giant explosion. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Holy jeez. Well, there goes the butane portion of today's video, but it obviously worked with the liquid nitrogen. So I guess if you guys want to see a part two where we try this with the butane and we buy another one of these giant Coke bottles, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. I, I don't know what else to do at this point. The thing just exploded. Guys, run that replay back immediately. We need to see that again. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, guys, we just watched that back right now and we didn't even take in how crazy that was. That thing literally exploded beside my ear. But I think it's time we get out of the park before the neighbors come looking as to what just happened. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm still taking in all that just happened. I feel like I'm talking more loudly too because my ears are still ringing. Like I said earlier, do not try this at home. I'm a professional scientist from New Hampshire, Oregon, Michigan. So, 
I know what I'm doing and I still, I feel like I still almost died. We had a close brush with death, guys. Now, this video, I have to say, is probably the craziest thing we've ever done on this channel, guys. So I need you to show me some love. Smash the like button and smash the share button. Send this to someone you know because this needs to be shared. Now, like I mentioned as well, guys, we were planning on doing a giant butane coke rocket as well, but our giant coke bottle just exploded. <laughs> like it so exploded, man. <laughs> Loaded, man. I don't know what to do, man. Jeez. And it takes like a month to order one of those things <gasps> in. So if you guys want to see another DIY giant Coke bottle butane edition, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. If we can get over 25,000 likes on this video, we'll be back with part three very soon. Or at, at least as soon as the Coke bottle comes in. Because look at all this. We have so much unused butane. Look over here. We have so many Coke bottles that we just... What am I supposed to do with all these? I need you guys to help me out. So smash the thumbs up button, guys. Huge shout out to the boy Bong Gizzles for helping me out today. Here. Be sure to check out his channel. Link down below in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will catch you next time. Toodles!